you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Apologies for just coming late. Amen. And then, second of all, before we honor a bishop, let me appreciate every man and woman of God here. I notice there are several servants of God here. Let's just honor them. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Particularly, we honor the PFN chairman. Thank you, sir, for the sacrifice. Yeah. Then, please join me honor Bishop and his dear wife. Very good people. God bless you, sir. Thank you. My heart has been in the meeting, and I know that our time is gone, so we'll have more time to um, exchange pleasantries tomorrow as God grants us grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to cry in one minute for a visitation from heaven. Lift your voice. Let it be a desperate cry. Father, visit me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? Give me an encounter that will change my life forever. Give me an encounter by your spirit. Take my ministry to a higher dimension. Shalabranda katosi atahasha. Zekatosi salabranda katosi atabaladaba. Shalabaruta si atabaladaba. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. You are seated on the throne. One more time. Hallelujah. Help us tonight, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated if you can. The power of God is going to come upon a lady outside with a loud shout. Please pick that lady and bring her here. I know that our time is gone. Outside, not just inside. Shila Sobran Psalm 92 and verse 10. Psalm 92, verse 10. Shali Parus Kadavli Atakata. I want to share very briefly on the subject of the anointing as I was given as a topic. I believe that there is so much that the body of Christ needs to learn about the dynamics and the operation of the anointing. Whilst we commend the body of Christ for having gone far in understanding the ministry of the Holy Spirit, 
I will respectfully observe that there is still a lot more about the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the operations of the anointing and that is because many people are more interested in walking in it than studying it and so many people have experiences captured within their Christian life that they cannot explain they cannot give meaning they just know that people fall down in my meetings people shout I feel fire in my hands I feel cold I just know it is from the Holy Spirit and yet because we do not give attention to study these things there is hardly mastery as far as the operation of the anointing is concerned in our lives please when the power of God comes upon that lady outside um, I want you to bring her in I want to speak and I want to prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing light just casting on this side and it's please hold on we're going to pray and it's an impartation it's a grace for the prophetic just on this row please bring them out I'm seeing a grace for the prophetic God wants to shift people into very strange dimensions in the spirit. Please bring them out. You will never be the same. Shalas kobranda gadusiata. Shilebarutiasa. For some of you, what you saw in your dreams are about happening. You've seen them in dreams and visions. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. A new dimension is opening to someone in the spirit. Open up the gate. my dear remember not the former things nor consider the things of old the spirit of God is saying behold I do a new thing please be careful with her don't drag her in the name of Jesus I declare for you and for your loved ones the old is rolled away like the curtain in the name of Jesus Christ and I cast away every spirit that impedes your growth and your advancement in this kingdom. I declare you are delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring the people laughing in the spirit. It's not just some religious gibberish. It is an operation of the spirit that I'm hoping at the end of this conference we will understand. It's a laughter in the spirit. Please bring them. The power of God will come upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just be patient with me a minute and we'll be seated. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Let me prophesy to someone here. In the name of Jesus, I come tonight by the rod of a higher priesthood that every challenge that has stood before you in the name of the Lord God whose I am, it will fall like Dagon before the act tonight. It will fall like Dagon before the act tonight. Hallelujah. Ebenezer. Who is Ebenezer? Ebenezer. You are wearing a blue and a cream shirt. Blue and cream. No. Blue and cream. It's like a short shirt. 
there is a blue patch and cream who is that what is your name Ebenezer you are a member of this church I want to pray for you my friend you love Jesus the spirit of prayer and supplication is coming upon you I stretch my hands may that grace come upon you let it take you to untold dimensions in the spirit in the name of Jesus you receive of that grace you will never be the same my friend I want to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus the Lord revealed me to you and I'm speaking to you for you and for your family January is a season of strange breakthrough for your family I release that grace upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and that everything that stands between you and prophecy I clear it out of the way in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the healing anointing I don't know you this gentleman you're a man of God lift your hands in the name of Jesus the Lord is telling me that he's introducing you to a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit and you will experience the healing power of Jesus in a strange way father in the name of Jesus a new grace fresh dimension in the spirit let this unction rest upon you and turn you into a sign and a wonder please be seated God bless you Psalm 92 and verse 10 let's see how the Lord will help us but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil grant us illumination by the spirit in the name of Jesus conferences like these are opportunities by the grace of God to expose the body of Christ to dimensions of the kingdom the kingdom is built and it's made up of systems and God mandates that we study these operations one by one so that we can gain mastery and that our Christian lives will become fruitful and productive it is for this cause that he gave unto some apostles and prophets and evangelists and teachers for the maturing of the saints hallelujah praise the name of the lord second timothy chapter 1 verse 9 tells us that we are all called every believer in christ is called please give it to us the bible says who had saved us and called us with an holy calling so every believer in christ is called for as long as you have been grafted into Christ through the experience of the new birth the Bible says that you are called you are called it's an initiation into a life of victory a life of purpose a life that represents the Christ himself second Peter 1 and verse 10 tells us that we are not only called but we are chosen and then it says that it is within our responsibility to give diligence look up please to make your calling and make your election the word election is still the word chosen are we together now that it is within your power and it's provable the times that we live in now will no longer allow noise and stories of a God who was and a historic God. We need to be able to demonstrate the reality of this life that we so propose. We've said so many things about God in conferences, in conventions. There are so many advocacies about who he is and what he can do. And then the world is standing in their arrogance and waiting and saying until you can demonstrate the validity of all you are talking we consider you noisemakers philosophers they say hallelujah in Luke chapter 4 the Bible says that Jesus came to the temple and the scroll of Esaias was given to him where he wrote the messianic prophecy Isaiah 61 
Jesus speaking that scroll he began to read it before them that the spirit of the Lord is upon me he said for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted he said to deliver them that are in bondage he said all those things I'm quoting that scripture and this guy is getting delivered now this one is the power of God this is not a sermon when he was done he said this day is this scripture fulfilled and he saw a woman with a withered hand and said if it is true that i am the messiah that is talked about let that reality be here and now madam stretch forth your hand the bible says that the greeks seek for a sign have you read that scripture that we live in a time where men and women will not just believe for nothing there has to be a dimension of the reality of God there is too much speaking too much speaking not teaching too much speaking propositions of what God can do God can do we wet the appetite of people like the fig tree and we cause them to come and they come there with nothing God is able to change your life we say I'm not being sarcastic God is able to lift you and many times we are well-meaning we don't mean to deceive them we are sincere but we go back and say God but why what is this what is this I gave my best I called for a healing meeting I called the sick to come they waited from morning till night and they went back I called sinners to come I told them there is a savior that can save and while I was teaching what I believe the Bible says is the power of God unto salvation that while that teaching is going on the sinners were watching like this unconverted untouched by the message are you blessed we propose that as believers and as men of God he has put something in our lips that when we utter words upon the lives of people we can create a system of blessing upon them but how many times do we continue to speak the Lord bless you the Lord lift you may your life change they say amen meaning they believe but they don't return with results can I tell you this there has to be a dimension of the grace of God that must be displayed in the land of Asaba to bring principalities and powers. Hear what I tell you. There has to be a dimension of the reality of the spirit that you will see people on the streets, conversions, a, 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 an effulgence of power that on Sunday the streets and the shops are closed because men and women will have to go to God there is there is a dimension of the power of the Spirit of God he said when I came to you I did not come with the excellency of speech because the morale is not to show you I'm a great orator but to demonstrate to you that there is a kingdom that is provable here and now why should I not go to a harbor list when I'm desperate for a solution and you told me that I should stay and go to God and I'm staying to God while my loved one is dying listen we have no right to question the alternatives until we demonstrate the authentic right now it looks like a mockery when you say you are in ministry when you say you are a man of God this is what society interprets I am a nuisance to civilization I am a nuisance to intellectualism I am a nuisance to to sociological development we are this group of religious bigots that have come to interrupt status quo when has it been that the church is said that you are the light of the world that means the definition of darkness is a territory without the church when a man of god comes to a house and knocks and says peace be unto you the people in the house are already offended 
because in their mind they feel this this money grabbers have come with their false and negative prophecies to mislead us and collect money oh come on please that there is a dimension of grace that as you are knocking at the door of someone without knowing what the problem is the spiritual climate that you carry is announcing something to the realm of the spirit that the age-long captivity that that family is under should go can I tell you this the lifetime of transformation when you see Jesus you need only one encounter there were few times in scripture where people had to encounter him twice to be transformed one solid genuine encounter please sit down so the Bible says we are called everybody say I am called you are a believer in Christ according to the authority of scripture it says you are called it's a holy calling the Bible says but then the Bible says just proposing that you are called will not bring God glory and that our lives will continue to be barren like the fig tree then it says give us that scripture again first Timothy second Timothy second Peter sorry one and verse 10 it says wherefore help us second peter 1 and verse 10 media wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make now women understand this when they say make rice that means take responsibility and bring together the ingredients if i say madam make for me fried rice the first assignment of that woman is to go to the market was that not what he said go and buy from them that sell that means there are people that sell it if if you are desperate enough there are men who have been custodians of that dimension you seek the parable of the ten virgins he said go the one we have is not enough go to the market there are people who sell it buy from them you don't buy with money you buy with meekness you buy with honor you buy with discernment that you can carry the currency of meekness the currency of honor the currency of discernment to say i discern that you are one of the privileged stewards that has been given this to sell to give to make available so he says make your calling and your election show man of god make your calling and your election show believer make your calling that means when this word comes your first assignment is what are the ingredients required to make this ministry potent oh god you called me into a prophetic ministry every prophecy i've given people said is a lie i must go back to the drawing room in the spirit what are the graces what are the dimensions of light i need to form that ministry to make my calling and my election sure you've called me to be a kingdom financier there is a dimension of kingdom wealth I do not know my life continues to represent failure even though I am called so when men doubt your call don't be afraid their, 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 their doubt should push you to go back and say Lord these people are justified until my results proves otherwise Are we blessed Lord you have called me to demonstrate the reality of the spirit to a territory and yet darkness continues to loom across that territory even with my presence that means I need to go back to the drawing board in the spirit with the assignment to make my calling and my election sure don't forget this message tonight is a message that culture's responsibility that waiting for god to just anoint you arbitrarily waiting for prophecy to find its way to happen you will wait forever you have to take responsibility tonight and say in the name of jesus i will find whatever the ingredients are i will pay that price go and buy from them that sell Go and buy from them that sell. There are stewards who have been given this assignment. Hallelujah. You have malls within your town. 
and when you want to buy household products you don't go to a carpenter for instance when you want to buy food ingredients there are people who sell food and sometimes you are even fortunate they have a place designated already to make it easy for you when you go to ShopRite or any of your malls they they even label it for you to make your search easy that if what you want are beverages and so on and so forth there is a plethora of them for your choice that means if your calling and your election is not sure is accredited to pride lack of discernment lack of meekness and maybe sheer laziness every dimension of grace every dimension of revelation we seek to represent christ to his fullness is available within the body but it does not come to you you search the proof of passion is pursuit that when you are passionate about a dimension and a thing you seek it i believe in the name of jesus that your coming and your sacrifice to sit in and outside is proof that you are tired of your current level and that you desire something that is real and provable to come upon your life i believe that the the holy spirit is in partnership with our bishop and the men and women of god within this city to say maranatha let a new dimension of glory come let a new dimension of power come let a new dimension of the investment of the spirit upon this land come come lord jesus come come revival come come signs and wonders come come salvation come come baptisms come come revelation and spiritual intelligence there has to be a people it is the spirit and the bride that says come it is not only the spirit alone the spirit can say come and the bride in asaba is refusing to echo that same word when the spirit says come the bride must also say come the spirit and the bride say come dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bas kana kata branda kate kotos. Kate branda kata pa kotos koto pray kate kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.